Well, we're working on a lot of things. We're working on uh, building up some lighter weight cans. We're actually going to be approaching titanium. And we're doing some things that other people really don't want to play with because of the fact that, you know, you can take titanium and build it up. But what people don't realize is you can also build 17-4 stainless and get it very light also. We're talking minuscule, but nevertheless, just slightly heavier than titanium. Well, we've actually put our cans on a diet. Uh, we got a lot of good customers out there that have come to me and said, can we get something lighter? Uh, I said, sure, yeah, let's try it, let's go for it. And so the guys, and I, the guys in the shop and I, we all kind of put our heads together, a big huddle and said, how do we take weight out of these cans? And wow, that was a circus. But what we did is that we have actually exceeded the boundaries that I thought we could and still have strength and integrity. So for example, the Bravo One suppressor, it used to weigh 22 to 24 ounces. And what we did is uh, gone in there and put it on a diet. And now it weighs 19.6 ounces. So we shaved that kind of weight off. And out of all this, then came the new one. And this is called the Battle Dog. The Battle Dog is a six inch suppressor that weighs 16 ounces and it's full auto rated. It's all, it's all 17 for stainless. And it's a, quite the joy to shoot because it's small, compact, and it gets with the program. That's what we call a battle dog. And then we came out with a new one. Also, it's another one of my brainchilds that started off as being something smaller, but got really big and nasty quick. This is called the Bravo STFU, Special Tactical Forward Unit, if you want to call it that. But it's an 8 inch, basically a 7.9 inch can that weighs right at about 20 ounces. 17.4 pH and it's magnum rated. We are rated up to 300 Win Mag all day long. We tested it and I said I will not, hap will not happy until I shoot it really hard. By the time we were done the silver suppressor was gold and purple. So out of a bolt gun that's doing something. So yes, we are addressing the weight issues and, and have addressed them, and we're not done yet. We have some other ones. We're going to be doing a titanium suppressor. Um, a couple of them, actually. But the first one is going to be the Echo 6. It'll be all titanium, nice and lightweight. You can take it apart and clean it, and everybody's going to say, Wee! Okay, now we have a titanium can, because the fact is that the people out there are not happy with some of the other titanium suppressors because they're too loud. They're too noisy. They so said, why can't, you know, why don't you make us one that's quiet? So, due to their, you know, you know, what do you want to call it? A good word. Um, popular request for, from a lot of different people and a lot of good customers. We are bringing out the titanium 22 room fire can. It'll be available very soon. Probably shot show. You see this little guy sitting there, and we call it Battle Dog for a reason because it's so small. Well, unbeknownst to a lot of people, that's actually a 308 suppressor, probably one of the smallest on the market. Um, six inches, 16 ounces, and um, <laughs> it has to be heard to be uh, believed because it actually shocked me when we fired it the first time. And it's all 174. And the, the funny part is, is that. It's, <laughs> to put it mildly, the Battle Dog is something that came out of a nightmare dream. And that's why it's a Battle Dog, because it is a nightmare for the guy on the other end, because it is very effective. Well, there's a lot to be considered on titanium because of the fact of titanium <clears throat> is uh, very susceptible to chlorine and ammonia. And unfortunately, gunpowder is washed with ammonia. Okay, so what you have, every time you fire around, you end up putting ammonia in the can because the, the gunpowder is washed with ammonia. That's how they, they actually peel part of the retardant off the powder, you know, which gives it a burn rate. Um, so every time you fire around, you introduce ammonium hydroxide into the suppressor and it starts to erode due to the alpha case. The alpha casing goes in, starts to break the grain boundaries down, 
and it starts to basically wash away the material. Every time you fire around, it washes a little bit more out. It starts to erode, and the faster it erodes, the faster the can goes away. And you get sparks and all kinds of stuff going on. Um, taking this in, in account, you know, there's a lot of uh, other companies out there building titanium, and I keep hearing this term with Inconel inserts, and I'm a bit puzzled about that because of the fact that the coefficient of expansion is different on two different types of material. Titanium doesn't like anything but titanium, such as aluminum doesn't like anything but aluminum. So we are addressing it. We're looking into building a, a 30 cal suppressor out of titanium, but not until after extensive testing. But there will be a life on the can. You know, it'll only last just so long before things start to go, you know, bad. Erode, erosion in the can because it, it's it's a great material for a lot of applications, but suppressors really wasn't meant to be made out of titanium. But we're going to do it. I mean, I, I think we can do it and give some good longevity and some good service life for the can for our customer. You know, that's it was a big point for them. They had, they brought it to me and they said, we, "Could you please try to build some, a titanium can?" So we're doing. It. Okay, well. Basically, just keep the, keep your eyes on the ads and the media because uh, you're gonna you'll be able to follow what we're doing. We're actually gonna get lighter, stronger, better, uh, be able to offer superior product for longevity and for life. Longevity, as far as can life, is really important to us. And titanium, yeah, I get it, and it's gonna happen. But just keep your keep just keep your eye. What? How do I put that? A good word for this. Just keep your ear to the ground because we're coming and we're going to get good.